guys so in this video i'm going to show you in step by step how to import a task project right how to import a task project right so it is no more news that um we can now combine task application and uh, autoresponder and also contact task to save contact automatically on whatsapp with rename we can also use it to save contact automatically on whatsapp with generic name and also we can also combine tasker and uh, contact task also with a uh, auto input application to save unsaved contacts on our whatsapp right if you don't know much about all this you can check the description below i'm going to drop the link right here to some of the videos i've done about how to use tasker to save and uh, to save contact automatically with renames on whatsapp so ensure you visit the description below to check out those videos that i've done on that so now the next thing i want to do so i want you to give this video a thumbs up that means i want you to like it and subscribe to my channel if you are joining us for the first time and i also want you to share this video to your family and friends that you feel this content will be useful and will be of great importance too not everyone knows how to program tasker because tasker requires some level of programming before you can be able to use it to perform a particular task right so not everyone knows how to go about this but if you know how to do it and you have done a particular task that is working you can actually share that project or task that profile or task with somebody that want to perform the same task on their phone also all the person have to do is just to download Tasker on Google Play Store, other required plugin, and after they have downloaded all this application, then you can send the project to them as a link. Then they can be able to import it and it will also work for them also. Moving on right now, I want to open up this Tasker for the first time after I have downloaded it. So then you can see all this before we get started. Data access and collection Tasker, your automation tasker then i'm going to just click ok right here ok then tasker beginner friendly experience the full experience just select the one that is full experience so um then all this right here you have to check all this box right you have to mark it you have to mark it you have to mark it right so i'm going to mark every little thing right here i'm going to accept times and conditions I'm going to mark all this. Yes, I'm going to mark all this. All right, so we just back. I'm going to check all this. Um, checked, right? As you can see, I have checked all this option right here. I have marked everything. You have to mark it in your own also. I've marked everything. I'm just going to tap on proceed right here. So it's going to open up the tasker interface for me. Important notice, uh, make sure to disable all battery optimization. That is this application tasker it must not be battery optimized so if it's battery optimized it might not perform its its duty to the fullest right so this is the tasker profile right this is the I mean, interface rather this is the tasker interface right so now let's just try and import this particular project right? someone has sent it to me as a link then this is the project in my whatsapp so this is the link to the project, right? This is the link to the project. And I'm just going to tap on the link right here. I'm going to tap on the link. So I'm going to click on import, right? Import. So after tapping on import, you can see check-in tasker link. In my other videos, I'm going to display the video on how to export, how to export a tasker project. So this is just how to import. So just make sure you watch it to the very end and I'm going to display a video on how to export a tasker project after the end of this video on the screen. Right, so what we want to select right here is to select a particular Gmail that you want to use for this. So I always advise people, select the Gmail that you are ensure that it's your main Gmail, right? Use your main Gmail. The one that you have actually integrated or synchronized with your phone contacts right with your phone contact application so i'm going to select the one i want to use fast tech 
So import data. You can see this is the details of the project I want to import. So this is the details. Generic name, saver, needs to follow information. So just say yes. Yes. So then it's asking me import to base, import to project, import to project. So is it base or new or plus new project, right? I'm going to select base, right? So do you want to enable this generic name saver? That is the name of the project, right away. That is yes, I want to enable it right away. We have successfully imported a task project right now, right? This is a project, someone has sent it to me. I have successfully imported it right here. So this is the this is the project, right? And it is fully running, right? I've just shown you how to import a task project. A video is popping up right now that is going to show you how to export a task project, right? So you need to know how to export a task project also because when you have created a project yourself and you want to send it to someone, maybe you want to help them set it up also, then you have to find a way to send or to export that project to them. Then in the next video, you are going to learn that, right? So just ensure you watch that video popping up right now. So that is all for this video. If you have not liked this video, like it right now. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification icon. If you have any question, please drop it in the comment section and I'm going to check it out. Thank you and God bless.